Hello Gearspace, I am Toby from TubeTech and we have a couple of new modules to show you. Um, I think the eye catcher definitely is the 6 mod 6 module. We've been working on this for the last two years together with LPZW modules and it's a TR606 based drum synthesizer with a lot of additional features but the original character and the original feel of the 606 is still there and you still get the original sounds as well. But then you can deavitate from that and get industrial sounds, crunchy stuff, but also, of course, slightly different sounds as well. Yeah, if you like, yeah, we can have a look and I'll show you. And or maybe I just show you the other modules as well. So this is a sequencer, which is a perfect fit for the drum module. It has uh, eight drum tracks with uh, 16 patterns which you can chain into a long song if you like, forward, backward, probability modes, randomized modes, mute, which is great for life, and a lot of uh, uh, nice stuff like yeah, MIDI clock or analog clock and even MIDI output. And yeah, I'm going to show you the drum module. So for each instrument we have a uh, couple of parameters. Like for example, we have bass drum decay or um, snare decay. But for the snare, we also have a snappy parameter, which is a high pass on the snare sound. And we can tune the snare body. And then instead of a white noise, we could select the metal sound of the hi-hats or a crazy X or a ring modulation sound as well. So this is not a typical snare anymore. Um, low tom, we can tune the low and high toms, however you like. And for the low tom, there's even a switch that turns on our sub tom, which is one octave lower than the normal tom that was turned on. Sorry, and you get the really nice tom bass drum. Then there's a reverb noise effect on the tom, so we can turn that up, and we can even adjust the noise sound of this of, of this sound. And yeah, the cymbal has a couple of rather subtle tone parameters. You can adjust your cymbal sound perfectly. And uh, for the hi-hats we have open and closed hi-hat decay. And for cymbal and hi-hats we can actually change the, the pitch of the metal sound and the spread of the six metal sound oscillators. And this can of course be CV modulated as well or you can actually play it on the MIDI keyboard. You can actually play the metal sounds on the MIDI keyboard like this. And if we adjust the spread to zero, we can actually play chords. So yeah, the module also has MIDI input for drum triggers, uh, of course, and for modulation as well. There's a mixer output and if you plug something in, let's say the bass drum, it gets taken out of the mix and you can use it somewhere else. It's uh, available for pre-order now, so have a look at our website and um, see a lot of sound demos and yeah, have a look. Thank you. Yeah.